Uh, you, you, were, you were sending out videos like crazy last night, and uh, you show up with your Islander hat on this morning. You're front-running bandwagon. Some Hell yeah, I'm not are. hiding from that. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, you are 100%. And I just want to say uh, thank you to Clark Gillies and to John Ledecky for sending me videos through you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know why everybody hates me. I'm the only one around here who actually talks hockey to, you know, 365. And, and everybody's yelling at me through your videos. Well, let me explain I mean, for like, people. John, they, uh, 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 <laughs> Right. I'm like, hey, come on. Would everybody calm down? I mean, my son-in-law plays in your team. <laughs> I mean, he, my son-in-law likes to think of himself as the modern-day Clark Gillies. Sure. And, you know, everybody's screaming and yelling at me. Well, and let I, me explain. And I'm the only guy around here that wants to talk about hockey. Well, let, let me explain. For the people who didn't see this last night, you have Holy to go to Twitter crap. right now and check this out. I tweeted it out. I'm sure that the fan account did as well. So I hit the video, <laughs> and then everybody's going nuts, and I want to get Ledecky just to see him celebrate. So I'm not, there was no discussion about anything, no whatever. So I, he comes over to me, high fives me, and then just unsolicited starts screaming into the camera, Take that, Boomer! Take that, Boomer! I mean, with like, and I, we have to probably pull that because his intensity yeah. in this is just, it's insane! Well, what like, did I do? He's like a rabid dog. I mean, he was like a Rottweiler <laughs> foaming answer. at the mouth. Hey, look. I, 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 you know, here's the thing. The guy loves the Islanders. The guy has done more for that Islander franchise, you know, uh, getting the new building, you know, giving them the resources along with uh, uh, Malkin, the other owner, uh, yeah. to get the Lou Lamarillo here, to bring Trots here, uh, to make the trade deadlines for Zajac and Palmieri, to give Pajot a new contract. I'm like, I, you know, and I followed all of this, sure. and, I've, and I've spoken about all of this about his team and what's going on with his team and right. everything else. And on top of that. I invited him to Sydney and Matt's wedding. You did, When yes. Lou Lamarillo said he couldn't come. You did go out of your way to right. make sure that that happened. That is all true. And I got put in a really bad situation. I feel like, you know, I'm a Ranger fan, okay? We know. But yes. I love hockey, <laughs> and I just want to sit back and watch a good hockey game. I want to see my son-in-law do well. And again, last night, his line, you know, omnipresent everywhere, doing all the right things, sending the puck where the puck needs to go, not trying to do things that they're incapable of. And, you know, they're a big reason why the, this team is is beloved by its fan base. Yeah. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. And then you're sending me these freaking videos. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not even there. I mean, I you're know. sitting there with front-running Francesa and O'Reilly and oh, yeah. all these other, you know, Baba Booey and all these yeah. D-list celebrities and everything else. <laughs> I mean, so Jesus weird. God almighty. And now you know what it's like to be bougie, by the uh, way. It was so bougie, weird. son of a bitch. And I'm glad that you uh, you had a good guy by the name of Jay. Yeah, Jay was awesome. turned out to be a good listener who appreciated what you did for him yesterday. I thought that was really cool. And this is why you have to be the pulse of the people award winner. I don't, even though... You're bougie. You're hanging out with these bougie people. I, hey, I just happen to be these, in the same all place these as them. Entitled, all these entitled son of a bitches. Are, it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, but listen. I knew. But I knew. I knew. And I'm, I'm going to let you get into it. But I knew before the game even started, listening to the national anthem. Oh, yeah. I know. Which was the most awesome thing. And I and I take my hat off to the Islander fans for doing that and for the slinky to sound like it did. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was it really came across great on TV and everything else. But I, I don't want to be the scorn of anybody. I have nothing to do with this. I'm just talking about hockey. And hey, hey, clown, clown. <laughs> you